Hello, this is tutorial number 11 and today we'll be discussing a little about the accept terms and conditions field. Uh, those of you who are coming from Community Builder 1.9 environments kind of remember that there was a uh, configuration parameter for terms and conditions acceptance on your website. Uh, as of CB 2.0 uh, we no longer have that setting. Instead, we actually have a new field type. And let's just go to the back end and a default field. So if you look at the back end, we'll see here that there is there we go, number 16, accepted terms, terms and conditions field. It's in the contact form, but if we edit this, <coughs> we'll see it's currently set not to show on profile or on profile edits or on registration. So what we really want to do is let's first click to show it on registration. The first item, yes, one line with title, and let's. It, we don't want it read only, but we want to make it mandatory, so it is required by default. So uh, there are more parameters here. Let's just go and look at this. The layout parameters, we, no reason to touch those right now. Display. There are two modes here, displays, URL, and text. Let's just keep it simple for a second, keep it text mode. And see if we have it URL, we're asked for a URL. If we switch it to text mode, a little text area pops up and we just type in what we want. <coughs> so here I've typed in, these are the terms of the site. You must accept them in order to join the community. Of course, each uh, website will have its own terms. I'm just putting something generic here so we could uh, continue the tutorial. And in the display mode, there are basically modal and iframe. The new window is really used for the URL. It shouldn't appear here. Uh, so let's just keep it modal. And the default is 400 by 200. Let's just save this <coughs> and go to the front end and refresh our registration page. And we'll see we have a terms and conditions field. And if we click on the terms and conditions link here, we'll see that a little model window pops up, dimensions 400, 400 by 200 with the text message we had. Let's just quickly see alternative uh, display modes. Instead of model window, let's do an iframe, save, do a refresh here. This is what it looks like now. It basically displays the window right here. Okay, now <coughs> one thing we might want to do is we you typically want the terms of terms and conditions to be last. So we see here it's before the gender field. So what we basically need to do is go to our fields list. We can filter down and just select everything that's on the contact info tab so we don't clutter our screen here. Okay, well, it's quite a lot in the contact info tab. <laughs> uh, and we see here the gender field is right after the terms of conditions. And that's why the gender field appears last on the registration form. Uh, and all I have to do here is basically push this up one. So gender field is now before terms and conditions. If I refresh here now, I will see the gender field is displayed right before the terms and conditions. Okay, let's look at the other options here uh, on the terms and conditions field. Accept terms. I kind of like the model, so let's just, instead of iframe, just do the model window and refreshing. That's what it looks like now. See, I 
I kind of don't want to repeat the terms and condition as a title here. So let's go back and edit the global parameters. Instead of yes, one line with title, yes, one line with empty title. And let's save that. Go to front end, refresh. It's kind of better now. So it just has the checkbox field, except if I click on the field, it's okay. If I unclick, it tells me what's required. Okay. And if I click terms and conditions, the mode will pop up. Great. Now let's go back and look at the other mode, the URL mode. The URL mode basically means we have a, a document that's uh, a website page. So typically what we would do here is actually create some content from the Joomla article manager. And I've created here a terms of conditions article, <coughs> just generic, something generic. And I've also gone ahead and created a main menu item, which is unpublished right now. I'll just publish it and let's show you what it looks like. Basically, it's a single article menu type and I've actually selected the article terms and conditions. So if I now go to the front page and refresh the home page, <coughs> I see I have a terms menu item here that actually gives me the uh, the article, the terms and conditions article. And let me look in the browser URL here. Let me just copy this index PHP on URL and go back to my terms field. Accept the terms. Here we go. And let's switch here to URL. And here where it says URL, I just paste the unceft URL to my menu item in the front end. And I could keep this modal window. Well, let's just keep it just to show you what it looks like. So if I go to front page, go to my sign up, Everything looks the same. If I click on terms and conditions, it'll open the model window and it takes me to the article URL I just made. Well, I, I kind of don't like this, but I, I would go back basically and instead of modal window, I wouldn't even use iframe. I would use new window. If you see when we select new window, we no longer have the width and the height. New window will just create a new window in your browser. So go back, refresh. If I click now, it opens a new browser tab to the article. Great. Now in, as I mentioned before, uh, we have a new field type basically. And so if I do a new here, to create a new field, I can actually go and select, let me just find it, select a terms and conditions field type. So I could have more than one terms and conditions field on my website. One could be legal terms, one could be uh, uh, code of conduct, a code of, code of conduct uh, terms and so on. There's a lot of flexibility here. So you can basically do anything you want. You can have specific terms for specific membership types, for example, on your website. And you can also select uh, if these terms, if this field is searchable or not. You might want to search at some point uh, to see who hasn't accepted their uh, these terms and so on. Okay, I think that's it for this tutorial. I'm trying to keep things short. Uh, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for new tutorials. Bye-bye.